We shall now learn an MVC data entry form with pure HTML5, no jQuery. In the previous lecture, we have used HTML5 in combination with jQuery, but a better, better solution is possible if you don't want to use jQuery at all. We can now see how to get that in position. First of all, let me show you what is where. You don't need any change to your registration template. It will remain the same. No change here. To index.cshtml, no change is required. No change is required here. The only one piece change required is to replace this AJAX call is to replace this AJAX call to an HTML5 call. That is the only change in the entire website that you need. Even this is very small. If you see AJAX is not big, but uh, it is better to do it with HTML5 because of the native support. So we'll go for that right now. So we'll start typing the HTML5 functions. This will be through XML HTTP request post or request dot open post home index on request or request dot on load. So these are HTML5 uh, functions suggested by the HTML5 website. And uh, we can have a discussion of it also. Get the form data. Catch hold of XML HTTP request. And open a post request. And when the request is completed, it either completes with a success status of 200 or some error is there. If error is there or request status will contain the error code. This error is generally on networking, not on an exception thrown in your code. The exception thrown in your code will be returned as JSON. As far as this HTML5 function is concerned, it is a success. It has successfully obtained the response. So this portion executes only if there is some error on the part of this HTML5. Whatever message or code returns will be available in o request dot response text. It will contain saved or whatever. So get the form data, get the o request, open the request, and check whether that request completed successfully or not. If it completes successfully, then response text contains the JSON sent by the server. And one more line is required, o request dot send. File data is sent and this is the only change that is required here. Let us run it and verify. The client side validations are firing. putting all the data, choosing a file and clicking on submit, saved. So the same story done through HTML5 this time. So basically this one is even shorter code. It's all up to the way you think. So you can write your pre-validation code here if you want for the file. And uh, this one will cause the client side validations to fire. If they succeed, then this code will run. Now in the side lights, I have a chance of improving this server side code. Let me come to the discussion. First of all, I am strongly dependent on client side validation. So this one can be very easily stuck off. I can simply remove this else, format it. So I'm removing the server side code here. 
next now